Yep, hi, also a quick video on my new trainers. So these are 1990 Reebok Twilight Zone pumps. So this is an original pair, and here we go. So these basically cost me a tenner. And obviously a lot of people say they're totally caned, which of course the soles are completely, com almost completely caned. This is obviously gone. Um, the box that, you know, that it came in was literally a pile of uh, dried out like, foams, literally like, literally dried out. I guess over years of being in the loft, but the top part of the trainer is good. And most importantly, these are the right size for me, size 11s. So this is, so this is an original pair. Um, UK size 11 Twilight Zones, so from 1990. Now I need to double check that these are actually a 1990 pair because you know, most people know this particular trainer as being the um, sort of neon yellow version. So I need to sort of find out if this was also released at the same time or if this was released you know, a few years later or maybe even significantly later. But I'm kind of hoping this 1990s pair. Um, I have been looking out for, say, for the, for the um, sort of neon yellow pair as well so i keep keep on looking for one of those in size 11s if anyone's got any uh, let me know but this is good enough so i tried it on earlier and obviously it has shrunk a little bit but it feels good um, and the pump on um the, the shoe that i tried on uh, also worked so you pump it up on here this then inflates the sole area here to make it a nice tight fit to your shoe obviously tie the laces up as well and then um, once you finish playing basketball you know you press this button here and then that then releases um, the air back out so you can undo, undo the laces, get the shoe off. And it just gives you a really, really good fit. And I say these are high tops. Um, you can sort of see that, you know, the, the height of them um, on here, of the, of the actual shoe. Plus also the, the um, tongue here is super high on these Reebok pumps. So it's nice. So you know, the other one there. And uh, yeah, this one is basically in the same condition. <laughs> you know, you can see through here the ERS technology. That's not completely sure what it does, but I know that it lets you um, sort of spring and bounce up a little bit higher. And you can see on there it says Reebok Energy Return System. So that's what it stands for. And yeah, look, lots of good amount of grip on there actually. So really this middle part here is the only bit that's caned. Now, I'm planning on doing something with these. I'm going to look online, see if I can find anything, see if anyone's restored these, see what I can do. But the top looks good. The um, base looks good here, so I'm just hoping I can find something I can sort of you know, potentially scrape out all this crap, which will come out super easy, and then maybe just like fill it with some type of some type of foam. So I'm not it's not sure what I'm going to do yet, but if I can get some sort of foam that I can I can put in there, let it go hard, you know, I can then sort of detail it off with a, you know with a, a sharp blades, and then I can obviously look on, you know on, on pictures. And then start to potentially, you know, um, paint things like this back in the original colour of, you know, some sort of black. You know, so I'm, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but, you know, I, I wanted to rescue them. They're my size. I love these trainers. And I always, always wanted, you know, say a pair of say, this colour or the uh, neons. And I think that, that then when that's the only damage really is this section here, I probably can scrape that out and hopefully fill that with some sort of foam. And they just just get a new lease of life, and I'm not going to play basketball in them, but get it on there looking good. This part here, you know, I've also clean it up as best best as I can. You might find also using a bit, you know, a bit of bleach or something, or lightly rubbing it down or something. You know, might be to get that good, good, good again or dye it or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't, it's going to go too far, but I'd like to get this pair up to a standard where I can put them on and just you know just go to the local shops in them for a, you know a few hours. That kind of just. And there we are. That is them. So 1990. And so these were made famous by a basketballer called um, Dominic Wilkins. So not quite your Michael Jordan. But he must have been pretty popular to have his own, you know, shoe that he wore or promoted. Look at those beautiful. That little design there, that ro like rotating that round. Right. There we are. Cheers. So I shall keep uh, you updated and how I get on. Excellent. Cheers. Yeah. So video two. 1990 Reebok pumps. So what I'm doing really is I thought, you know what, this shoe here is the worst one. So what I'll do is I'll remove out all the foam. 
Also, I've got the other shoe, um, you know, to refer to, plus, of course, pictures are all over the internet. And all I'm going to do basically is just scrape out this, and you can sort of see it's just coming out, uh, yeah, really, really easy. I thought, you know what, take all that out, you know, <coughs> so, excuse me, take all that out there, so it's got some good filming on there. Cool. And then I can, I can then sort of see what I'm actually left with and see, you know, how much, see what's material, what's rubber, if the bases are good, all that sort of stuff you add to that carefully in the minutes, you know. And it's just, you can sort of see, it's kind of like, um, you know, egg. A bit of egg there, put that in the frying pan later. Cook that up, a little surprise for the wife. A bit of toast. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> but, you know, you can see that's coming out, like, um, easy. Side here. So, excuse me. Let's just, uh, just, just focus that quickly. Because it always needs to come out anyway, basically. Because if you're going to restore a pair of trainers and stuff, you know, this is all absolutely just, just dead. It's all it's a bit sort of sticky, it's sort of dried up. You know, you can sort of see all the black details here, but it's no problem. You know, once I find something to fix this with, you know, I can just repaint that right colour. Obviously, normally I wouldn't do this one-handed, of course, I'd do it a bit more, more careful, but you kind of get the, you clearly get the idea. So that's the plan, so I'm going to scrape that out, and then, yeah, and then see what, see what we're left with on this track, on this uh, shoe. But I think it's, 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 it's looking good, I mean, I know, I know it looks bad, but you think this, the main thing is this, this rubber sole is good. And the top part of the trainer looks really good as well. So it's just a case of finding something to put in there. You know, some sort of rubber. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I need to have a look on the internet and see what, what people say. But I'm sure there's going to be some sort of rubber that you can put in there. Yeah, and then shape it, with, you know, with tools. Cool. Thank you. Cheers.